circle. I don't know if you can see it or not. You get a turkey and a mom, a baby turkey and a mama turkey. Oh, be careful. Liam has figured out how to blow bubbles in his milk. Be careful. What happened? Are they popping? Oh. <laughs> I like your straw. Oh, we need more milk. Okay, Liam is climbing around by the table and making noise, but I did my week tabs today. I still hadn't done them. It is October 8th and I still hadn't done my week tabs, so I did those real quick today. And a lot of you guys have asked how I do those, what those are made of. I do it the same way I do these. These are projects. Um, the only thing I do differently with these compared to these is these are in here for a long time, so I cover them in packing tape to make sure that the stickers stay on, but we'll get to that in a second. So there are my little, that just shows week 40, that's the beginning of week 41. Yeah, be careful. That's the beginning of week 42. And all I do, you guys, this is like way, way DIY. For the week tabs, I use these. Okay, they're just post-it, they're like plasticky kind of um, they're flimsier um, page flags and then for the project tabs I use either these or these <clears throat> and they're both pretty much the same they are a little sturdier okay you're pushing the whole table strong man for the cow okay so all I do is take those little tabs okay and I use these Tim Holtz label letters that's what the package looks like. Um, I have gotten these at Michael's and at Joann's. That's where I found them. And honestly, when I find them, I usually grab at least two uh, because I go through the numbers, obviously, really quickly. But that's just what they look like. Okay, and you just peel off the really little. And this is all I do. Peel them off of there, stick them on there. And then usually like with the weak numbers, they're not as, the, the two stickers together aren't as wide as this tab so I just trim off the excess and then I stick them on the appropriate page right there now the only extra step I take with the project pages is, like I said I do use the sturdier flags for those and they are now sticking together in my bag so I use those or those for the project tabs okay you stick the same label letter stickers on there <clears throat> and then I take a little smidgen of packing tape and I fold it over the top, okay? So I stick the packing tape on, down on the front, stick it down really well, get a, you know as many air bubbles out as I can, fold it over the top, and then again, I just trim off the excess on the sides. That's the only difference between those and those. And that is how I make my tabs for everybody who has asked. Okay, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. We are in the middle of uh, the day that is trying to kill me. Literally now. Literally trying to kill me. <laughs> um, I told Romani and Vicky yesterday, apparently Mercury is in retrograde and, you know, we've had a full moon and there uh, was a lunar eclipse uh, yesterday morning, I think. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, Mercury's retrograding ours can bite me. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Wow, I knew today was going to be chaotic, but then Logan and I almost had a really bad car accident. We just narrowly missed it. So the old putt-putt van did a good job of uh, stopping when I stepped on the brake pedal. So that was, whew, that was scary. Um, that was like, I don't know, a little over an hour ago now. So we are, um, what have we done today? I'm sorry, the camera work is shaky and I'm really trying to keep it from being shaky. Steering wheel. There we go. So Liam is sitting back there on his leap pad because Liam has officially hit the terrific twos. Yeah, it's been fun. So uh, he has his leap pad to keep him entertained because we have a lot of running to do yet. Um, I, let's see, at 1.30, well, we worked on played while the kids were at school. And then at 1.30, we left the house and ran to the bank and picked Dakota up from school and he had to run in some stuff to drop off to Clayton for a cookout that Clayton has tonight, uh, right now actually at school. So Coda ran that in for me so I didn't have to haul Liam in. And then um, picked up Jack from his school and then 
dropped them off at home with a sleeping lamb so I could go meet with a new client and that went well so that was good and then um, I got home and then I picked Logan up from school after that appointment and then I got home for about 15 minutes and then we left to come here we are sitting at Hunter's Junior High he had jazz band tonight so we are picking him up and then running back home for about half an hour and then dropping Dakota off at work and um, picking up Clayton from his cookout. <laughs> Do you guys see why I write things down now? <laughs> this is why I write things down. So I didn't need to almost have a car accident. There's like the last thing in the world I needed, but thankfully we didn't. I'm not knocking that. We didn't. The three cars in front of us all had a lovely tra chain reaction, but so thank you universe that we weren't part of that car accident, but uh, it was a little bit scary. So this is why I write stuff down, you guys. <laughs> so I hope you're all doing well. Um, recorded a video earlier, so that'll be a little bit a part of this. Um, and I was comparing the three uh, different leather types of my Sheik Sparrow notebooks, because <clears throat> a lot of you guys had asked for that. So that is done. And... Uh, the rest of tonight's a lot of driving and working in the van. Okay, you guys, so this just showed up, and I honestly have no freaking clue what it is. <laughs> I've heard people say that before on videos. I'm like, how do you not know what you have coming? But I have no idea what this is. So I'm going to uh, put the camera down for a moment. We're going to open it. Okay? Okay. Okay, so we have, let me put the very sharp scissors away. Liam's actually taking a nap, but just in case. The ubiquitous brown paper. Peek, peek, peek. Oh, look. <gasps> Books. Books that I was not expecting to see for quite a while, you guys. These are like really early. Oh, I cannot wait to share these with you guys. Okay, if you have seen Romani's and Vicky's recent videos, um, the company Productive Luddite got in touch with us and wanted to know if we'd be interested in looking at some of their books. Um, and they were really cool about it. Um, the lady that I was emailing back and forth with was just like, take a look at the website, see what you think. Um, you know, just take a peek and, you know, let us know what you think. I'm like, cool, okay. Um, and, and she told me, you know, look through the website, let me know what, what you like. And so I had said I like the, um, there are a gazillion things on Productive Luddite's website, first of all. I mean, a ton of stuff. Um, but the, there's like dust from the packaging. But the, um, I liked the, the time management and the productivity stuff. You guys know that's my thing. So um, I, I said that. I was like, I really like time management, productivity. That's kind of my thing. And she's like, you know what? I'm just going to put some things in a box. Let you, you know, let me know what you think. I'm like, okay. And this is what V sent. Um, this one is Simplicity, Productivity, Better Living, the Productive Luddite. So check this out. A ton of to-do lists, different ways of looking at productivity. I'm definitely going to like go through these with you guys, okay? But I was just dying to see what was in the box. <laughs> Um, this one is really cool. This is, I looked at this on the website a little bit. Check it out. Check it out. It's kind of like Chronodex, but look at that huge page you get to work with. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that cool? So that is the new Daily Planner Clockwork Technology. This is the Matte Black Action Notebook. It's a five by eight. Check that puppy out. It's ivory paper and it is lovely. Look at that. Check it out. There's your contact info, your index page. Keeping things in the frame would probably help, wouldn't it? Several index pages. Tags. Oh, how cool. I never thought to use tags in the notebook. I tag every freaking thing on the computer. You'd think I would have thought to use it in the notebook. And then there's your key down at the bottom, and it's kind of like a bullet list. How cool is that? And then this cracked me up when I saw this on the website. It's called Focus Crime. Maxims and mantras for recovering multitaskers and the desperately distracted. So basically somebody at some point saw me working and wrote a book about it. <laughs> so I will go through this and share some of this with you. It is just so cool. 
So thank you so much. You know who you are. I will be going through and doing a, you know, actual reviews, you guys. Um, but I just, you know, I thought maybe Mike had some stuff coming, but the box was addressed to me. So I, I wasn't sure. And then I thought, okay, it's all the Amazon stuff generally comes addressed to me. But it wasn't from Amazon. So... <laughs> So there's new books, you guys. So we will we'll go over these in in depth. I'll use them for a little while, and we'll go over them, and and I will run you through them uh, in depth. But in the meantime, if you guys want to poke around and look at all the incredible paper loving stuff at productiveluddite.com, go take a peek. It is a really really cool website. Okay, bye guys.